Welcome to NFL Prop Picks powered by the Blitz. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Cardi, the mind behind the numbers. And we're here every standalone primetime game giving away Derek's best plays and leans. Plus three units so far on the season through two weeks. And we got more primetime Kirk Cousins. Who doesn't want that, Derek? Falcons plus three and a half dogs versus Patty Mahomes. And the pacheco Chiefs. We got leans. We got plays. But today we got a big card, Derek. You got four full-fledged plays, so let's get right to it. And uh, let the jokes begin. We laugh about taking uh, big-name players on overs. But <laughs> Patty Mahomes just seems to be the difference in it. Uh, three weeks in, two times we're going to take his over here. Number 264 and a half passing yards, minus 110. Time of the recording, Thursday, 2 p.m. That's at bet 365, close to 271. Last week, 268 in week one. The run game has taken a hit, but it's an indoor setting. What do you like about Pat Mahomes here and that over 264? I feel like such a fish taking Mahomes <laughs> over twice in the first three weeks of the season, but that's where the where the projection is. The Blitz is projecting 304 yards here for, for Mahomes. Um, it's indoors, which is always going to help a quarterback. It's the third fastest pace game of the week, so we should see a lot of plays run here. Uh, obviously, he's really good. Pacheco being out certainly certainly helps things. I mean, this is one of the most pass-heavy teams in football to begin with. Um, might lean on the pass even more. Uh, and, and he's Mahomes. Like, two, 260, 264 is – it's a low number. It's, it's what he averaged last year, and this is a well-above-average environment context for it. They're not even that heavy of a favorites where, you know, they're going to be, you know, they shouldn't be leading by two touchdowns in the second half and just kind of grinding the clock out. Like this should be a fairly competitive game according to the, according to the spread. And so uh, this looks like a really good one for Mahomes. Kansas city, great team at winning, not the best team at covering. I don't think they care as much, but third down going to be some IGP Ryan territory. And we'll get to that first, but that's not, what Carson Steele's role is going to be out of the gate. This is a play. This is Steele. Under one and a half receptions, plus 120. That's at Bet365 DraftKings. He's getting the number one role. The early down stuff, that's yours. You take it. But will he really have a role in the passing game with Samaji P. Ryan behind him? He's got four routes through two games. I just don't see the rookie having a big role, especially when they're trying to, I don't know, cut a bigger role into smaller pieces with guys who aren't familiar within this offense as much. Yeah, I don't really see that being his role either. I don't even think him being the lead back on the ground is like set in stone. Like it, it could be Pirine on the ground. It could just be Pirine takes over Pacheco's whole role. We don't know. Um, but I think the one thing we can be the most certain about with this is that Pirine's going to see the pass game work. Uh, Carson Steele is not that guy, was essentially a fullback undrafted um we're we're getting we're getting under one and a half receptions at plus money for a guy who might only run a few routes um you know maybe maybe he sees some you know early down check downs or, or whatever but uh the odds we're getting on this are, are very good just don't give us one of those sneaky forward handoffs that they count as a reception <laughs> within that offense uh that's always a chance but uh like his one two down stuff no passing stuff please there for steel and then uh, just a massive spot for Samaji P. Ryan. And this one's definitely going to take some money, I think. A play, P. Ryan over 15 and a half receiving yards, minus 110. That's right at the opening. 17 snaps on offense through two games and everything on passing snaps. And that's from PFF. The Chiefs, eight in running back target share so far on the year, despite not really having like their Jarek McKinnon of last year, that big role at 23%. And that's up from 18% last year. So there's a lot to like within this. It's just such a creative offense in a, in a sense that they can get you the ball if they want to get the ball. And that's hopefully what we're looking at with P. Ryan. Yeah, P. Ryan was already running around on a quarter of the dropbacks with Pacheco playing. With Pacheco out, P. Ryan should be getting almost all of the pass game work. He's done that before. He has that skill set. Um, it's a Colts offense that we expect to throw the ball a lot, to score some points, to to be able to you know run a lot of plays. This looks like a low number for P. Ryan. The Blitz is projecting, I think, eight yards above this number, and so uh, so I like it. And this is the one you can brag to all your friends about. Finally, bringing up the rear, another play. 
you tell your friends you're betting on Kirk Cousins' legs and uh, see what kind of see what kind of response you get. But Kirk Cousins over one and a half carries, plus one sixty five. The time recording at Bet three six five. His his rushing yard total is at zero point five. Uh, getting this market is odd because we were looking for it in the Aaron Rodgers game on Thursday night, and they didn't open that unless they opened it up right at the end of the game, which I didn't see, or the beginning of the game before uh, didn't see it. But four carries last week. There's kneel down equity within this. Even if he ends up with one, I mean, it's still a great bet at at this plus one sixty five number. It is. And this one's all about the odds. It's not like I'm like, oh yeah, Kirk Cousins, he's going to be scrambling all over the place. They're going to be drawing up runs for this guy. Like, no, not really. They do. Uh, they have called about 5% of their design runs so far for Cousins, which is not a lot, but it's something. This number's low. You mentioned the kneel down equity. Even, even an underdog quarterback is going to project for a half of a, half of a, uh, half of a kneel down. He could get one at the end of the first half, even. Um, so there, there are a lot of ways that he can get there. Um, we're getting, we're really just, we're getting good odds on. It. That's what if Atlanta doing. has the lead near the end of the second half, they're going into that locker room with a lead versus Patrick Mahomes in prime time on Sunday night. That's enough, Kurt. That's enough. Take a couple uh -huh. knees here, and, and we'll go in there. Right? You could, you could theoretically cool. win that on two kneels. Yeah. Uh, at the first half. Or we get we get two minute drill Mahomes at the end of the end of the first half. You know they score with ten seconds left, and then and Cousins just kneels it like that. Yeah. That's on the table too. No, that's uh, that's a good way to look at it. So uh, I wonder if his first half kneel kneel down equity is higher than his second half. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll have to really dig into those ones. But four plays. Uh, I can't remember last time we dropped four plays. So lots uh, lots of expected value here from the blitz. Patrick Mahomes, over 264 and a half passing yards, minus 110. Carson Steele, under one and a half receptions, plus 120. Samaj P. Ryan, over 15 and a half receiving yards, minus 110. Those are all pretty correlated. Uh, Kirk Cousins, over one and a half carries, plus 165. Did open at 170, starting to go down. I wonder if they're like, eh, probably shouldn't have opened up the Carson or the, the Kirk Cousins rushing <laughs> attempts. But uh, we were joking about it on Thursday night. Uh, let's take the Aaron Rodgers over carries and under yards but Kirk Cousins has 0 0.5 rushing yard total and Aaron and putting those together putting the over one and a half carries under 0 0.5 yards just plus 750 you'd probably want a little more especially yeah. with a 0 0.5 in terms of yards no yeah I would I would want more than that yeah, that's not something uh, I was hoping to get somewhere in the odds of 20 to 1, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But that's Sunday night football in a nutshell. The boys will be back Monday night with a two pack at the same time. Again, no idea why, but we get two football games on Monday at the same time. We'll leave it at that. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Carty. This is NFL Prop Picks powered by the Blitz. See you back here. Double dose Monday night football.